Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Spanish tragedy and we get to hear from Hieronimo yet again today in this scene that some versions call Act 3, Scene 13, some call Act 3, Scene 14, but wherever it is, Hieronimo is still very much grieving over the loss of his son Horatio, but at the beginning of this scene, he decided that he needed to sort of rein it in a little bit and start acting a bit more normal and do the things that he would normally do because he doesn't want to tip off the murderers that he's coming for them. And he knows that the murderers are Balthazar and Lorenzo, but he's, he, he's not able to act on that yet. And as long as we're drawing parallels between this and Hamlet in terms of fathers and sons and grieving and stuff, hey, there's also the inability of somebody to murder somebody right away. So, you know, think on that. But anyway, all of that aside, he decides that he, he needs to be sort of normal again. And these three people and one old man come in to sort of petition him for help because that's what he used to do. He used to work in the courts and settle disputes and those sorts of things. So each of the three give him their documentation saying, you know, this is what I need help your, with, your help with. Like, this is a lease. This is a blah, blah, blah. You know, I need your help with these things. And he turns to the old man. He's like, how come you're not saying anything? And the old man's like, no, it's a... It's a he won't really be able to help. But the old man hands over a letter that refers to the old man's murdered son. And Hieronimo says, no, sir, it was my murdered son. Oh, my son. My son. Oh, my son, Horatio. But mine or thine, Basulto, be content. Here, take my handkerchief and wipe thine eyes. Well, it's... Wretched I in thy mishaps may see the lively portrait of my dying self. Oh, no. Not this. Horatio, this was thine. And when I dyed it in thy dearest blood, this was a token twixt thy soul and me, that of thy death revenged I should be. But here, take this. And this, what, my purse? Aye, this, and that, and all of them are thine, for all as one are our extremities. So, of course, even though he's trying to be normal, as soon as he hears about a murdered son, he thinks about Horatio and falls into the grief. But he goes to offer the man, uh, Basulto, a, a handkerchief to wipe his eyes, but it turns out to be the handkerchief that he's been carrying around with him that he had dipped in Horatio's blood when he found Horatio dead. So then he's like, no, 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 not this one. This one, this one I need to keep to remind myself that I'm supposed to avenge your death. But then he, he starts giving other things away. He's like, here's a different handkerchief and here's some money and here's this and that, you know, like we, we should all be sharing in these things. And the, the other people who came in with, with suits that they needed him to help with are like, wow, look at how generous he is. And of course, he's going to have a monologue to talk about that, which we will hear tomorrow. So I will see you then. Mwah.